The second Gallery 3 device has landed, kind of, and you'll know in a second what we're talking about. This is the Pocketbook Viva, and it is the first Gallery 3 device of 2023. If you don't know what Gallery 3 is, basically, it's not e-ink, Carta, Mobius, or Regal, or anything in between. It's its own technology of e-paper created by e-ink. This features an 8-inch screen, 1920 by 1440, with a resolution of 300 ppi in color. It has both warm lighting and cool lighting. It supports six audio formats, has a built-in speaker, text-to-speech, Bluetooth 5.2, and unfortunately, we're not going to look at any of that today. Why? Because this is the unit labeled the PB802, but this is in its prototype form. Yes, what you're seeing here is not the final product. We need to stress that right out of the gates. But for what it is, Pocketbook sent us this prototype sample and told us to show people what it's all about, at least from the outside, which we're going to do right now. As our company expands, we get trusted with more and more products like this from the big companies like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and Pocketbook. Pocketbook just hovering right outside the big three. This is the Viva, everybody, and they said that the body is mostly complete, but it is not the final product. We're going to say that a bunch because a lot of you guys skip ahead, and we need to make sure everyone knows this is not final. You do get this little piece of plastic at the back that comes off. It is meant to come off. It has these little push clips. When it does come off, it actually reveals a six pin copper contact pogo, which actually allows for peripherals, keyboards, cases, a whole slew of things. You'll also notice that on the back here, this is called the PB802. This is the actual size of the unit. It looks like the era with the corners all chiseled like that and the asymmetrical design or symmetrical design if you hold it this way basically split right down the middle this is an 8 inch model whereas the era is a 7 inch it features right now a sage green border with very similar backing as the era and overall the same design you have the home button you have the back or left and you have the forward or right and the power button we're going to turn it on right now this UI also is not final this is not the final operating system and this is not the final user interface in fact we're not even going to look at the interface because this is just a placeholder. It has and will serve no function for the actual pocketbook itself. But what we will do is just explore the speed modes really quick because that's what we're here to check out. Again, this is not going to be any indication of the actual performance of the unit because it's just not going to be using this. But you do have normal, fast, and top fast. Whether the pocketbook will take advantage of any speed modes like A2, which typically European com countries do, like early Bokeen models, for example, it remains to be seen. So what we're going to do is just basically do the only thing that this is an indicator of and go over to pictures because pictures is how we're going to see the actual quality of the unit so we're gonna dive into the local storage and choose some photos now if you guys don't know what gallery is it is a separate technology from standard e-ink and I'm talking Mobius I'm talking Carta I'm talking Kaleido e paper e-ink it is not that it is not the 100 ppi regular e-ink Kaleido this is a 300 ppi experience and why that is is because you don't have the same limitations with gallery as you do on Kaleido. You actually don't need to scale back any of the PPI for color. Take a look at this image for example and we will show you glow light on, off, warm, cold in a second so stay tuned to the end of the video. This is looking like, I'm not even exaggerating, this looks like a piece of paper from a magazine. This is absolutely gorgeous. The technology we're seeing with gallery the colors are incredibly vibrant. If we do a pinch and zoom, which I believe the placeholder UI allows us, yes it does, look how incredible that resolution is. We're going to hit a refresh here just so we can get in on the rounded portions. There's almost no trade-off image-wise. We've zoomed this in as far as it will go and that is looking phenomenal. Look at his fingertips. Look how non- pixelated that is. Look how incredibly round all the 
rounded edges are. I'm not talking about the straight edges either. These, this, you should see some blurring and some fuzzing around the corners, which is evident with the way that Color E and Kaleido works with their kind of honeycomb pixel layout. But this has no such drawbacks. Now, the biggest drawback with Gallery, as you're seeing here, and as you'll see on the Big Me Goody Reader Galley, is the speed of it all. Because Gallery works in a different way, it is never going to be as fast as Kaleido e-ink, but it will be better quality 10 times out of 10. This is always going to look better. It's looking like an actual magazine article, and that's just something you cannot achieve with any other alternative e-paper technology. I'm talking e-ink, I'm talking the re-ink stone, slurry technology i'm talking about the ses magatag multicolor price tag panels you just can't get this any other way this is looking so good and this will come down to individual manufacturers like big me like our collaboration with them like sharp like pocketbook and potentially onyx and any other players in the gallery space it's going to come down to them to refine the software to properly make gallery work and that is why they send these to us they send us these prototype samples to utilize our expertise sit around the boardroom on the kind of table read kind of thing with all of us passing the unit around looking at it feeling the placeholder ui looking at how things can be corrected and where we should prioritize the movement there's a bunch of things we have to talk about in the back end but this is a prototype of the pocketbook viva the overall exterior is mostly complete there will be some changes as we go and the UI is in no way going to look like this this is a placeholder UI it is not going to be the final product this is very exciting everyone please stay tuned for the full review coming up when this product nears completion thanks for watching everybody